You're tuned in to Capital Jazz TV. This is the 13th annual Capital Jazz Super Cruise. One of the stars of this cruise, and I'm talking about stars because they have been the most talked about here on this ship, are the String Queens, and they are joining us here on Capital Jazz TV. How are you, ladies? We're we well. Thank wonderful. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so if you will, please introduce your name and what instrument you play in the String Queens. Sure. Uh, my name is Dawn Johnson, and I play the viola. Mm, beautiful. My name is Elise Sharp, and I play the cello. Okay, a little a little love, love here. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm Kendall Isidore, and I play the violin. Nice, nice. Now, please tell, for the people who don't know, the String Queens, ensemble trio that comes together and play strings. Yes. Three black women. Yes. Do you know how powerful that looks on stage? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of the point. Yeah. Tell I mean, me about that. that. Kind of Is that why you guys got together? I mean, we got together because we've all played in different groups, different orchestras over the years. Mm -hmm. um, but something very special happens when Dawn, Elise, and I come together mm -hmm. and we play music that comes from our spirits and it truly comes from our hearts. Mm -hmm. um, and we truly hope that every time we perform in front of an audience, no matter what size, no matter what venue or, or event, that people are blessed. Um, our sort of line that we use to describe the String Queens is we're a group that creates music that inspires people to love, hope, feel, and imagine. Yes. I love that. So did you feel that at the Super Cruise? How, how did you feel from the audience? Oh what did they gosh. give you? I love. Yes. So, so much, much love. love. Yes. Yeah. So much um, a feeling of like we were amongst family. Yes. Yes. Uh, it was incredible. Mm -hmm. And because we are new yeah. and we weren't sure what to expect. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So to get that feedback, that feeling, that I mean, it was everything, what we were giving, we got it back. Yes. Nice. We were That's the giving goal. our yes. love of so. what we do and, and they just gave, yeah, and it was everything. Yes. Yeah. It was yes, it everything. Was. And then to see the people in the audience at our shows, and you know, then we go and hang out by the pool with people who are in the audience, and you know, we might see them at dinner, um, and yeah. it's just so much love, and like Elise and Kendall were saying, it just feels like we're at home. It right. feels like we are with family. It feels like we are amongst people who just have so much love and respect mm. for timeless music, and that's what just brought us all together here, and it's just been a blessing to be on this ship with all of you. I love I love it. I love it. Now, when I saw you guys performing um, on the Super, Super Cruise, you guys were doing some covers, but I know that you have an album out. Oh, yes. The yes. album just released in November. Tell us about this album. What's it called? Where can we find it? Sure. So the album is actually self-titled, uh, which is a funny story that we won't tell the full version of now. <laughs> uh, we got time. Uh, I'm ready. I got my popcorn. Popcorn. You know, when it's your first time out the gate, you really want it to be a captivating title. Right. You want the picture to be right. You want the font on mm -hmm. the back. All right, those right. Good yes. And very important details. Um, but when we really looked at the album and the music that we selected, it's, it's really a, a five-song EP. We decided to make it a self-titled album. And so the, t the album is called The String Queens. Mm -hmm. It can be found on all major digital outlets, Google Play, Apple Music, Spotify, um, for purchase. And then, of course, here on the cruise, we have some hard copies. Um, and, and it's sort of the best of. It's all covers, actually. It's all mm -hmm. covers. Mm -hmm. um, but they're all The String Queens original arrangements. One of the nice. things that we love doing is taking, right. like, yes. like Dawn said, timeless classics and putting a little of the String Queen sauce yes. on it, a little sprinkle and mm -hmm. twinkle, mm -hmm. uh, to really hopefully produce um, just something that mm -hmm. people really feel. Yeah. yeah. And something yeah. that we discovered with our repertoire is a lot of the songs that we love to play, there aren't any arrangements for right. string trio. Ah. Um, hence how so many of our original arrangements yes. come about. And yes. um, we love to play music that we love to listen to, that we know our families love to listen mm -hmm. to, friends, people around the world love to listen to. And we went to go, you know, find some of these pieces. We couldn't find any um, arrangements for string trio. We found stuff for string quartet. You know, there are things for small chamber orchestras, yeah. but yeah. they're literally is hardly any repertoire or um, arrangements that exist for just primarily string trio. That's so yeah. interesting. I didn't even think about that because right. you think when you see when I saw you perform, mm -hmm. I hear the music and I'm just you're covering the music, right. not thinking it's not clicking that you guys are actually taking this music and arranging it yes. right. for the purpose so of no strings. Real love for trio or quartet. Wow. Right. right. There's wow. no sweet love by Anita Baker. Right. Or yeah. strings. For, for strings. strings. Right. right. Just Did, right. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So let's take a step back. How did you guys come together? You guys are full-time teachers. Yes. All full-time teachers <laughs> in D.C. right now. Full-time. I just want to make that clear. And then you guys get together and perform at, like, the Carnegie Hall and Kennedy Center <laughs> as, as the string queens. But let's take a step back. How did you guys get together? 
Well, it started with, let's see, Don and I knew each other. I guess we're going on a little over 15 yeah, years now. 15 we years. Uh, met through Soulful Symphony in Baltimore. Okay. And then so Don and Kendall met because Don was, I'm not Ke Don, Kendall mm -hmm. was looking for a violist and she worked with Don's husband. Mm -hmm. And um, she just mentioned, hey, I'm looking for a violist. He's like, yeah, I, my wife is a violist. And who says that, right? Yeah. No one ever says that. My wife's a violist. I got right. you. Right. Like, who says that? Exactly. <laughs> so, um, so Kendall did call and got Don. Mm -hmm. They've been tight as thieves ever since. Yeah. And then Kendall and I met because of Don. Don called us for a gig. And she said, hey, before the gig, just come to my daughter's birthday party. Yeah. And the three of us, we were at the birthday party. And Kendall and I got to meet a little bit and um, connect. And then the next day was the gig. And it was magic. Yeah. 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 And then after that, you guys were like, we, we got something here. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, you know it's special. And it wasn't immediate. I mean, we knew each other. We played with different people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, the more we actually played together, we realized mm -hmm. it something was different special. playing with each other yes. than with yeah. other people. Because yes. we, we went on our merrily way yeah. with um, yeah. different gigs mm -hmm. and everything, but there was something different every time we got together yeah. and it, realized. It's funny because, you know, do you remember you and I had done a couple of duet gigs? That's, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Coincidentally, with the DC Jazz yes. Festival. Nice. And the gig that so she cool. mentioned, it was so much <laughs> was fun. So much <laughs> fun. <laughs> so much soul. She's a cello bass player. What She plays everything she does. I love it. I love and it. Went I, love on I love it. The wedding that she mentioned, mm -hmm. um, Elise was not playing with us on that gig. And so, but we clicked. Yeah. And so, having both experiences right. with both of them at, right. the, at, at different times. I get it. Yeah. It, it, it was, it was this magic. It was. it was magic and it was meant to be. It was and then to And be. then you guys use use your powers get together and put on this amazing show oh, like amazing you. shows and just deliver thank you. such a strong presence on stage such thank a beautiful thank you. presence on stage so thank you for what you do thank so you. let's i know we've got to wrap it up but i've got to ask so what's coming up next Oh, wow. We have so many things coming up. Um, we play a lot of private events. Um, so we have some private events coming up. Um, Swiss some of, yeah, the Swiss Embassy is coming up. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be performing there for the second time in the past year. And mm -hmm. um, we have some things coming up at the DC Jazz Festival, um, the White House Association with Lonnie Bunch. Mm -hmm. um, not the 45 side of the White House, but the, <laughs> the other there side. Is <laughs> there is a difference. There is a difference. The new Smithsonian. <laughs> yeah, the founder of the yeah. um, National um, Museum of African American History and Culture, yeah. Yeah. Um, which we've just performed at recently for a for couple of Mercy. yeah the just yeah, mercy yeah, movie yeah, premiere. Yeah. we also did the harriet movie Which premiere I saw there that movie. was that not okay. incredible but that's a whole nother incredible right. yeah another conversation <laughs> we'll talk about that offline um, talk about that yeah off we um have the lake arbor jazz festival mm -hmm. coming up and um, we also have some education outreach programs coming up in different schools around the city and i wanted to yes. ask you about that because you you three have gotten together and started a non-profit or an organization is yeah, it so with ndc well so this year we are the ensemble in residence and also the teaching artists in residence for washington performing arts there it is. Um, and what that entails is a series of performances um it's the mars arts initiative it's a community um, engagement program that primarily goes into um, schools in underserved communities um, and we put on education outreach programs we put on performances we do master wow. classes and residencies um, and anything to just bring this younger generation into this wonderful world of music that we are also blessed to live in let me tell you there's something about the power of being young and learning music mm -hmm. and working to yes. this day i'm still mm -hmm. friends with my First chair violin player. Yes. Second grade. Yes. Fritz Lane Matthews. Mm -hmm. You know Fritz Lane. <laughs> Fritz Lane, me and you, we still go uh, hard. And and that's because of the music. Absolutely. Yes, it is. Yeah. And we're all still friends with our orchestra yes. stand partners. Oh, really? and oh yeah. Yeah. It, it just takes you there. It, when you see them, it takes you back. And when you think about being back there, it takes you right to those people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Music is amazing. It, the it power is, is yeah. amazing. And then you guys have some collaborations because you've yes. collaborated with Janelle Monet, Common, mm -hmm. yes. any Aloe other? Black. Yes, yes. Aloe Black. Aloe Black. Yeah, um, we were the video that blessed. you guys did with yeah, them. We were yeah, super blessed. Yes, um, we were. Uh, shout out to Kevin Merida, who works with the Undefeated with mm -hmm. ESPN. Uh, we were blessed to meet him at an event, a private event. We were doing a fundraiser for DC Jazz Festival, mm -hmm. and he saw us there, and he said, you know, we're trying to come up with a project for Black History Month that involves a reimagining of Lift Every Voice and Sing. Mm -hmm. He didn't let us know who the artist would be, and they were really just talking about mm -hmm. it. And then we got to December of mm -hmm. 2018, right. and we started to see it come to fruition. Yes. And um, next thing you know, you know, we were blessed to have a conversation with Aloe about mm -hmm. where we wanted the song to go. Mm -hmm. nice. um, and so we, we didn't record with him. You know, he was in LA and we were in DC. Right. Um, we had a, a great producer in the studio and sound engineer who recorded our parts. Yep. Uh, that was a complete original arrangement, the yes. string parts. Yes. Um, and so we sort of put it all together and 
and then we went to Monticello um, in, in Charlottesville, Virginia, right. and just the video. I mean, just oh, an incredible wow. experience Absolutely. to be on those yes. hallowed yes. grounds yes. where our ancestors that literally yeah. could feel the spirit I just got of the animals. It was, it was, yeah. it was yeah. very yeah. emotional. It, it was, was very yeah. emotional. Oh wow! Yes. Oh wow! Because it was almost a manifestation of the dreams and the hopes and the aspirations of all of those who came before us. Right. And here we are, three black women, standing on the grounds of Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's Monticello. Girl, don't get me crying. And don't so, me crying. You know, it was just, so it was just imagine, a blessing. Yes. It was just a blessing. Oh my yes, gosh, it was. you women are a blessing. So oh, thank, thank you for you. what thank you do. You. How do we, Capital Jazz um, viewers, stay in contact with you and know what you got going up next, coming up next? So we're on all social media platforms, um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter as well. Mm -hmm. Our handle is the string queens uh, please make sure you put the article in there the string queens <laughs> um, and then for Facebook it's just www.facebook.com slash the string queens mm -hmm. um, and then our website um, a lot of people on the cruise um, thank you so much to everyone on the cruise Ooh, absolutely us, yes. when can we see when you're gonna come to Chicago when yes. you're gonna be in Atlanta LA um, and so we just urge people to keep track of the calendar on our website right. yes. because we're literally populating it almost mm -hmm. daily yeah. right. um, as we confirm engagements yeah. um, and so we're just really yeah. excited about what God is doing yes. um, in the String Queens lives, our families. Yes. Yes. We, we are so blessed to be able to have our families with yes. us yes. on this cruise as yes. well. Because nice. we could not be here. Without, without a them. strong grounding, yes. uh, Amen. they provide. Yes. This is now. true. Come yes. on with a word. Yes. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining. I know this won't be the last time that we see them here on Capital Jazz Festival Super Cruise again and again. I know this thank won't be the you. last. So no, thank you, ladies, thank you. for being with us and joining us here on Capital Jazz Super Cruise. This is the String Queens. I'm Jodine Dorsey, and you are tuned in to Capital Jazz TV.